number two. So if you enjoyed number one, or just the ultimate batter, you're gonna love this one. All right, so. I'm quite sorry about the names there. <laughs> Well, I just realised it was on the app as the ultimate tobacco, and now I've got this one too. But anyway, anyway, uh, this is going to be a fun uh, class today, so let's get warmed up. Same format, we're going to have our strength element, we're going to have our hit, an intense, high intensity element, and then we're getting down on the floor for our core element afterwards. So, it's going to be a tough one. Good, and again, so down we go. One more of each here. Let's make sure that the heels are flat down. The shoulders blades are back. Up and over. Feet forwards, bend in the knee. Okay, we're taking one foot back and stepping one foot in towards the hand here, opening up underneath the hip area. Good, and we're changing sides. Abs on to change. Well done, let's bring it up to standing. Nice wide legs, wide feet we go and tipping over. Easing out some of the inner thigh here, but also driving our heel down into the ground to activate these glutes that we're gonna work. Good. A few more of these. Making sure we're warming up all those muscles, ready to go. I'm excited. Are you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, bring it in everyone. Let's go, drop the squat down nice and slowly to start with so that we can make sure we are sinking down into the right parts of the feet, which is towards the back. Good, good, good. A few more, you can speed them up a little bit now. Abs on tight. Keeping that chest lifted, elevated, good. Nice neutral spine here. Well done, one more. Perfect, let's bring those legs in. And now we're pointing the feet facing forward. Step back, drop the weight of the body into the heel of the front foot and step it back in. So just under 90 degrees at the knee so that you really press that heel to bring you in. You should feel all underneath the leg and the quads, obviously. Depends how quad dominant you are. That would be me. Doesn't it? Good. Couple more here. Well done. All right, let's take some nice big shoulder circles. Round we go. Actually, move the arms around using all the muscles in the shoulder so don't go too fast. Don't use momentum. I don't know if I can't stand still for a second. Yeah. Some reason you can't stop talking. <laughs> Good, up and over the top. Well done. And we're just gonna tap down on the ground. Use your butt to get down so the legs bend, reach up, and let's just warm up the calves because we will have some jumping around to do. And remember, for nearly every exercise, there's always a low option. I normally remember to tell you each one. If I don't, it's sort of obvious. You just take the jumping part out and continue with the bit you can do, okay? So this is for everyone, anybody. Good stuff. All right, everybody, let's go. We're getting ready to start. Your first two exercises, not yet. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we've got the three pulse lunge, so it goes. One, two, three, and switch. Two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. If you, if you need the low option, one, two, three, step and change. One, two, three, step and change. That's your first exercise. Pike press up is the second, we know we love it. So this is where you make a triangle with your two hands, and where your head is aiming for. It doesn't matter if you can't get to the floor, but up in the air this time, and then we're driving the head towards the ground, the elbows slightly back towards you, slightly out to the sides, but not right out to the side. So watch that when we get going. They're the two exercises that we're alternating, Tabata style, so 20 seconds on, 
10 seconds off, are we ready to do the short? Yes, we Starting are. Starting with three pulse lunge, switch and change. It looks harder than it is. Her loud. Loud, 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 loud today. All right, ready? Three pulse lunge. exercises. So we're going on to uh, squat with a leg lift, so no jumps for this one, we've got plenty of those to come. So here with a leg lift, butt cheek, and there leg lift, butt cheek. Okay, so we're going to keep changing sides as we go. And then we're going into those toe touch ab pulls, so a similar shape to what we've just done, but this time we are pulling, so we're in plank, we pull the butt up, to touch the toe, to back to a plank. Make sure you suck your belly in 
and round the shoulders at the top of your plank each time. So that we're working the core and we're working the arms and the shoulders, okay? We're ready. Keep yeah. moving. Okay, moving. That's what it's called. Are you ready? Five, four. Right, squat three, with the legs into changing the sides. And you want to squeeze your butt cheek so that your leg doesn't just go out to the side, goes backwards and slightly out to the side. So imagine that you're in a square, you're aiming your back foot to the corner. Good. Right, plank, toe touch, round the shoulders, we're pulling up the middle to round the toe. Second one, hamstring pulls. So these are not high knee runs, 
Piney runs where we bring the knees up. This time we're drawing, it will look the same, but it's not the heel into our butt cheek. So it's a straight line between our heel and our butt cheek. The knees will poke upwards, but they won't come up any more than pointing slightly down. Like you wouldn't be able to get them up here if you were using the right muscles. All right, so we're concentrating on pulling with the hamstrings. Let's practice it as we go, yeah? Right. Squat, touches each way. 20 seconds. Welcome to the battle. Then the glasses might Are you ready? Oh no, I don't think so. Five, four, three, so step out to the side and then step the other side. So shuffle over. Make sure it's good. Here we go, she's going. Okay. Okay, right, our second hit track. 
Oh lordy. <laughs> oh lordy lordy lordy. Alright. <laughs> First exercise. Three jumps forward. One, two, three, one air jack. One, two, three, one air jack. Now if you don't want the air jack, one, two, three, a squat. Or I personally, if I wasn't doing the air jack, I would just continue to do the jumps forward because you'll get that heart rate raised a lot quicker. Which is of course what we want to do. Second exercise, you've got your American football drill, which we do have done a lot in the past. On the toes, we're going to work the calves here. This is about speed. Keep your legs apart. As it gets tiring, you're going to bring them in a bit. We don't want that. We want everything out to the side. Let's do it then. Welcome to the battle. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, 
All right, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. All right, two exercises back to back, exactly the same. We have the leg drop, but we're not dropping the legs far. We're actually doing almost a reverse curl, okay? So we want to lock the head up here, so everything is pulled down into the ground, so we can feel our lower back rounding into the ground. Keep the pelvis lifted. All right, you have to keep that pelvis lifted so some of your butt cheeks are off the floor. We've pushed down just by about three quarters of the way, pull up and try and tilt our pelvis even more as we come to the top. Second exercise, down here, you're either just gonna do touches. If your neck hurts, switch hands out at the same time to support your neck, okay? If you want a harder option, here, and then barrel roll with your heart, arms up in the air to touch for the next one, okay? So either of those two. All right, you can bend your legs as much as you need to in the leg drops. The more bend the legs, the easier it is. I've got a name. What? Tabata Day. Yes! Sean, you're I so know, good I know. Tabata Day. <laughs> We're gonna have to go in and change them all. Right, okay, right. let's go. Oh, one of them. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so leg drops to start with. Make sure you do not put that upper body up. You have to. Turn the sky.
one more ab track to go. We are looking good. We are feeling uh, tired. So we've got plank, open abs, bicycle crunch. So we've literally taken every core exercise you can do today and smashed it all together. So plank open outs are plank. Make sure we are rounding the shoulders on your plank. I really don't want people with shoulder blades together on their plank, okay? So pushing the shoulder blades up and out, yeah? So you've got nice rounded shoulders, abs are nice and tight. We turn, we brace the core, we pick our ribs up, which is the abs under here, as so we return down and the other side, okay? But make sure you're going into what looks like a side plank on your hands. So you're using your core as well, otherwise you're gonna put a lot of pressure through the shoulder. So we do that one first, then we're obviously just gonna turn over, I mean, because it's the last track, we're gonna really smash those abs with a little bit of speed. So that bicycle crunch, the longer your legs go out, the harder it is. But the main point is to keep all of this flat down on the floor under here. And then I don't care what you do on top, it will be hard anyway, okay? Let's do it! Welcome to Savannah. Here we go with Ready? Open out. You can be on your knees if you need to. Make sure you push the ground. 
Wow. That was intense for the abs. Okay, guys, have a drink. One minute, and then we're going to come back. I think we're going to stretch on the ground today. So get yourselves ready, laying down flat on the ground after you've had a quick drink, and we'll get a stretch going. All right, good work. Where does the time go? Feels like. Damn. Oh, I did not feel like nearly 45 minutes, did it?